decided to do a first impression on a product that I've been like seeing everywhere on social media at the moment. Uh, heaps of makeup artists and bloggers have been posting about it and today I was lucky enough to finally receive one from the lovely team at Stefan Professional Makeup, so thanks guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on the new foundation airbrush, so to me this utensil looks like a big ass toothbrush. <laughs> So we'll just see how it goes. I've done a review for you guys to see what you kind of think of how it all looks. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up and yeah. So just a little bit of background information on it. It is to apply foundation. You can also use it for powder and blush apparently. Um, it's meant to give like an airbrush streak free effect and it's meant to help contour and kind of shape the face. As for the appearance of it, it's really easy to grip into the hand, so like, you can just really get it in there. <laughs> um, the bristles are so velvety and dense, so it's kind of like, it reminds me of like a kabuki brush, but I just love the way that it's um, like designed and just it feels like it's going to be really easy to use. And from what the box says, I'm meant to start from the inside of my face and do kind of like pull push motions and then finish off circular so this could be interesting I feel like I'm not gonna be able to understand that <laughs> so the foundation I'm gonna be using today is Clinique's new beyond perfecting with a built-in concealer I use this like on a daily basis so I thought it would be only fair to use it um, with this utensil I've used every other utensil like a foundation brush stippling um, and I mostly use a beauty blender I that's my ultimate way of applying foundation it's my favorite I think it's the most um, I think it's the most airbrushed and most flawless kind of look. So if this thing can outbeat a beauty blender for me, whole <laughs> it's a whole new ball game then. So we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> so you guys can see at the moment I've got some major breakout. Um, just a bit hormonal at the moment. It's really annoying, but anywho, um, I'm just trying to give a close up so you guys can see what. Uh, my skin's looking like so after I've applied with the airbrush foundation or uh, the foundation airbrush um, You can kind of see the end result because I'll do kind of like a snapshot um, Side by side of before and after of the finish. Okay, so I've already primed my skin. I've used a mixed strobe cream I always use it as a base just because it gives the most amazing pearly reflect of the skin Especially if you're dry combination skin like myself and I'm really dry just being winter So yeah, that is the primer I've used so I'll just apply my foundation. It looks really dark, I know, but once it starts rubbing in, it's fine. Um, and I'm a little bit lighter at the moment on my face. Actually, I'm always lighter on my face. I'm so pasty. <laughs> so I'll just start with that amount at the moment. So they say to do like a push-pull. Is that right? Push-pull? I'm assuming that's the kind of finish that they mean. And then like angle off. So, so far the finish is really quite nice. The brush feels so amazing on the skin. It doesn't pull it or anything like that. It just really feels very like, like it's almost massaging. It's really nice. I feel like I'm just using a big ass toothbrush on my face. <laughs> overly awkward in the hand it's just a really kind of odd motion I guess just maybe I know I kind of do this motion with a foundation brush but in saying that I can grip it quite well like the forehead is so easy like I loved the fact that I could just go back and forth and get right up against the hairline without actually touching my hair and getting foundation in it but we'll just look at the first layer and coating of the finish of the brush. So I would say I'm reasonably happy with that finish, um, but I always go for a second coating, so I need to finish my second coat, and then I'll really know if I'm happy with it. I'll be interested to see if this brush lifts up the first layer of foundation as well, if you know what I mean. Like, now that the first layer is already settled, sometimes you can find things will lift 
that layer when you go for a second layer. Especially with that back and forth motion. I have to say there is literally no streaking though. I think because the brush is so dense and thick, it just picks up every ounce of the foundation formula. I forgot to mention that this foundation is a full coverage foundation. So yeah, I'm going for quite a full coverage today. And I'm really quite stoked with how it hasn't lifted that second layer of uh, sorry, the first layer of foundation. Like the second one, I was able to build foundation up on top without disturbing that first layer. Like I can get right in here. And this is the look like I'm brushing my, like using a toothbrush up against my ear. But I always get patchy in here because I find my beauty blender will leave a lot of residue. Um, but just because of the angular tip, it's so precise at just getting into those areas. So and yeah, we'll do a close up and see what you guys think of the finish. As you can see, the brush has provided a really, really smooth finish. Like there's no streaking whatsoever. It has really given that seamless effect. Uh, airbrush effect is very close to it. I am really impressed by that. And probably the biggest thing for me about this brush was I was really impressed how it didn't lift that second layer of foundation. Because of the density of it, I was concerned that uh, it would disturb that first layer and kind of move it around, but it was amazing how it allowed me to apply more without, you know, any caking or anything like that. So, yeah, it kind of has lived up to everything it would say it would do. Overall, I missed my noobs. <laughs> I am actually really impressed by this. Uh, really impressed, actually. I really liked the texture of it as well. It felt really smooth and very comforting on the skin. Uh, the bristles so finely densed um, and the finish you know amazing I was really impressed with that it is a really big contender against my beauty blender um, I'm gonna find it really hard to decide which one to go with I would say the beauty blender the difference between the beauty blender and the foundation airbrush is that the beauty blender doesn't take as much time but in saying that this didn't take much time I just find beauty blender it's just like bam wham done um, this one is pretty close to it, but it's a little bit more like motions um, involved with it. Uh, but yeah, no, very impressed. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick um, first impression video. Um, I will, like I said, link Stefan Professional Makeup down below for you guys to check out. A lot of brands do stock these now. Um, I would recommend it, really recommend it. It is a really cool... Um, new little gadget and I like the way that it fits in my hand so softly and I don't know it's just really easy to move along the face so if that all <laughs> makes sense <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow me on the rest of my social media sites and until next time guys hope you all have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon bye